superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. What's up, superstars? Hey, superstars. 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 I could not have said it better myself. This is my obligatory national recap. I had a great, 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 great time with some great, 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 great people. Um, as far as what I picked up, I was looking for some cool pre-war. I really want a uh, Tris speaker card, maybe some T205s because I didn't have any. Um, I would like to have a Ray Chapman card. I thought I'd work on my 50s Indians team sets. Um, uh, it'd be cool to pick up some Red Man and Red Heart cards. And I thought about picking up some Ahmed Rosario and Fran Mel Reyes for the modern stuff. Um, I don't expect to find all that stuff, but uh, I got my comps all written down on my handy dandy Hello Kitty notebook. And um, yeah, I had a budget of $400, which may seem kind of modest for an entire week at the National, but uh, I still had a blast. So let's see how I did. So Tuesday night, Four Leaf showed up at my place. We had some pork chops and he talked and talked and talked and talked. Uh, fortunately, we had to get up kind of early in the morning so he couldn't talk all night. He gave me this sweet hat signed by Paul Shuey, uh, Jose Mesa, and Alvaro Espinoza. We left Wednesday morning. Four Leaf talked all the way to Al's Beef where we stopped for lunch before heading to the hotel. Um, when we got to the show, I got autographs from Jen Stenerud. I randomly had his rookie card, so that was kind of cool. Uh, Indians legend Cecil Fielder signed this ball for me. He was a little grumpy, but he was all right. And I had an 89 Tops Wally Joyner that I got signed for Andy at Flying Dutchman Cards. But I had to loosen up the wallet a little bit, so I picked up this cool Jake Westbrook auto and this Cy Young just so that I could say I bought a Cy Young this weekend. Um, I got some gifts for some dudes and bundled in this Bieber for myself and then met Ken from Ken's Cardboard who gifted me this beautifully ugly 95 Fleer Alvaro Espinoza and an Alvaro rookie in this sweet, sweet screw down that is proper. Ken is so awesome. Uh, Four Leaf talked some more and then we went to bed. Thursday was a big day. My first order of business was this 1921 Tris Speaker. Um, I would have preferred a slab, but the price was pretty good, and I really like the patina on this one. I bundled it with this Wheaties Bob Feller, pretty rough, but a uh, really cool card. A 1940 Harry Eisenstadt, cool Jewish pitcher, and 49 Sam Zoldak, not a fantastic player, but uh, the card's in great shape. Um, I was still really feeling things out, so that was all that I bought uh, that day. I had dinner with Four Leaf and Jeremy IPTTM, where Four Leaf talked a lot. And then we headed over to the YouTuber Hangout. Here's Jeremy's custom with his son, Jathan. Got to meet Ed Weskergriff and Mike O. Eric from Those Back Pages. Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards. Uh, Wade Boggs fan. I'm pretty sure that says John Reindeer, right? I had fun talking to uh, James from Elite Hunters. Mike, Baseball Collector. Um, Picker Jim S. Bill, the Hall of Fame Collector. Uh, TTM Troy, Don's Field of Dreams Cards. Rick from Vintage Oddball Cards. Pepino Man, of course, uh, Stove Triple Crown 24, Canadian Cardboard, Big D for Life, just so many guys, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch of them like a jerk, uh, even guys that I don't talk to very often, but everyone was just so cool, and speaking of cool, Dustin and Blake were there too, and they gifted me this stacked box. Uh, let's look through here real quick, Frankie right on top, lots of Lindor, lots of Kluber, lots of Jose Ramirez. Cool Lindor candy lid, Steve Hargan autograph, uh, this abomination, and there's the best card in the box, a Dustin and Blake custom. I didn't have very many of those, actually, so uh, so much awesome. Oh, and uh, Four Leaf talked a lot. Friday morning, Four Leaf had to take a work call, so while he was talking, I snuck over to the show again. I switched gears this morning and found some shiny stuff. Uh, I got a nice Ahmed Rosario slab. Here's some autographed cards. Logan Allen, Andre Jimenez, uh, David Justice, rookie. I, I know it's a 90 Fleer, and uh, 90 Fleer is obviously the herpes of baseball cards, but I didn't have a Dave Justice. And uh, Aaron Savali, clearly authentic, which I did already have, actually. Whoops. 
And then I was feeling weird about buying all this uh, modern stuff. So I switched gears again and I found these T205 George Stovall and Jack Birmingham cards. And then I found this 1914 Jack Rainey felt. So these little felt squares were inserted into packs of cigarettes. I don't know a ton about them because I just sort of found out about them recently, but uh, they're really, really neat. Uh, Grainy here was a Canadian-born player who owned the Naps mascot dog, Larry. Larry the dog was more famous than Jack Grainy, but there's a kid's book with, written in the perspective of Larry, so that was pretty neat. And then I picked up a bunch of these big cards. I think I was still on a little endorphin buzz after the pre-war finds, and I bought too many of them, but they're still kind of cool. It was shortly after when I met up with the brothers Vandermeulen, Doug and Andy, um, who I had gifts for, but I mixed them up, mistaking Doug for Andy and Andy for Doug. They were super cool about it, but I still feel like a big dummy. Um, they gave me this beauty. Look how awesome that is. And Doug gave me this really cool sticker. I need to find out where he got those made. Uh, while we were hanging out, they were supposed to keep me from going over budget, and they failed because I found this Ray Chapman felt. Um, Ray was the dude that got hit in the head with the pitch and died in 1920. Uh, I was super, super excited, probably too excited because the seller wouldn't budge on the price. He knew he had me hooked, but it was still a really, really good price. Um, even though I was over budget at this point, I bought some more gifts for people and found an Ahmed Rosario high-tech auto and this neat Owen Miller. And then Andy bought me this super cool Phil and Joe Necro autograph card. So a Necro Brothers card from a Vandermeulen brother. I love that. And I also picked up uh, Terry Francona and Sandy Alomar Jr. autographs. I didn't need them, but they were a buck a piece, so I couldn't pass that up. After the show, Doug, Andy, and I stopped at Doug's house to pick up Bubba. I got to see his studio, and that was really neat. And I tried to get Kaylin to do a little cameo for me, but she wasn't having it. We went to guaranteed rate to watch the Indians and White Sox almost get into a fight because Tony La Russa is a punk. Um, the Indians lost, but we played mini fantasy baseball, watched an Elvis impersonator and some fireworks. So I had a blast and it was a lot of fun hanging out with those guys. Uh, when I got back to the hotel, Four Leaf talked some more. On Saturday, I spent $1 on two cards that were gifts. Um, Pepino Man, knowing that I blew my budget, asked me if I needed any money because he's a good dude or because maybe he was trying to pimp me out. But uh, I was content to do some people watching. Uh, I said hey to Bronco from Baseball Card Illustrated. Uh, I had lunch with Dustin and Blake, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we ran into Patrick Grenna from The Sandlot on our way back to the show. After that, I left early to hang out with my buddy John, who lives in Chicago. Uh, we had some Nashville hot chicken and some chocolate cupcakes. Yum. Um, and then we watched a couple of movies, so good times with Johnny. I stayed at John's house that night, uh, so I can't confirm if Four Leave talked some more on Saturday night, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that he did. Sunday, I got up and I ate some French toast and it was delicious. And then I made my way back to the show where I found Four Leaf talking to somebody. Um, I didn't really look for anything to buy. I just went around grabbing free t-shirts and stuff like that. And then we left. Four Leaf talked all the way home. And then we stopped at a Mexican restaurant in South Bend recommended by Mr. Tony Black. Thank you, Tony. We hit up a Walmart and came back to my house where Four Leaf talked some more. But, um... I just went to bed. So yeah, good times. Extra special thanks to Four Leaf for uh, rooming and riding with me. Um, you're a good dude and I'm glad that you're my friend. And um, yeah, it was just a great time, buddy. And I did take and pass a COVID test yesterday just for peace of mind. Uh, I was thrilled with my pickups. Uh, definitely enjoyed meeting so many great YouTubers. I, I handed out these uh, T206 Customs. Um, I've got a few left, so if you didn't go to the show and you'd like to have one, just shoot me an email or contact me, whatevs, and I'll try to get you one while supplies last. Uh, whew, that was a lot of talking. I must be taken after Four Leaf. Um, thanks everybody. I got a lot more content to make, so we will see you real soon.